Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today I'm talking about last night's game against Yeovil Town in the League Cup first round, which was a disappointing performance, a good result at the end of it, but I'm going to start off by saying well done to Yeovil. The turnaround from their performance from Saturday to last night, they must be very, very proud with losing 8-2 on Saturday. They came to Molyneux, set up very, very defensively, 10 men behind the ball at all times, very difficult to break down. And so much so, Paddy Power actually paid out on a Yeovil win at 11-1, to even though they didn't win. Uh, so, well done to them and uh, wish them all the best for the rest of the season. As for Wolves, we made nine changes from the team that beat Middlesbrough on Saturday. The only players remaining were Bonatoni and Bolly. Within those changes, then, there were some mixed performances. Some people stood out for their good performances and others for their poor performances. To briefly touch on the positives then, first of all, we had a high amount of possession and we moved the ball very quickly. For the first 20 minutes, I don't remember Yeovil having a touch at all. We moved the ball so quickly and well, each player was having one touch, getting rid of it, and it was moving constantly. We'll come to the negative side of that in a second. Defensively throughout the game, we were quite secure, though there were one or two mistakes from Danny Bart that led to good chances for Yeovil, which they really should have scored. Will Norris in the goal looked quite good and comfortable, a couple of good touches with his feet, which is something I've noticed from the first two games, is that the goalkeepers are quick to come out of their box and deal with any problems in the sort of 20 yards, 30 yards from their goal when the ball's played long, which is good, but I can see it becoming a problem if there's any sort of error. I thought Ryan Bennett played well at the back and possibly as the season goes on I could see him replacing Miranda as Miranda didn't really play too well on Saturday. Bennett, although it being against Yeovil, looked comfortable on the ball and dealt with any problems well. I thought uh, Diogo Jota changed the game when he came on. He took the ball forwards, ran it beat players and changed the way that we were playing. Before he came on, there was a bit of hesitancy. Jota came on, took the ball past one or two, got into some chances where he had some long-range shots. From this game on Saturday, I thought he had a quiet game. The last 20 minutes where he came on yesterday, I thought played quite well. And of course, Nuadiko grabbing a goal as well, which is good for him. With Wolves in the hunt for another striker, it's just a gentle reminder to Nuno that he's still there and still able to score goals. So, and now to move quickly on to the negatives. I didn't think that we started the game attacking or fast enough against a team who had conceded eight goals at the weekend. We should have been getting into their faces, getting balls into the box quickly, and it didn't happen. We kept, had a lot, a lot of possession, as I've just mentioned, but it was all in that middle third of the pitch. Jack Price had a very busy game, constantly moving the ball forward, but then... There was nothing that came of it, ever. We didn't have a shot until about 50 minutes or something like that, on target, which was really, really poor. I thought Jordan Graham had a poor game. Uh, he was playing in a, out of position, in fairness, at right wing back, but still, the positions that he was getting into, the crosses that he was putting in were dire. They were barely beating the first man. His corners were dire as well. In general, if you're a winger, getting into those positions is great, but if you can't deliver a decent ball, you know... If I was Jordan Graham now, I'd be getting into the training ground and just whipping in cross after cross after cross, practising that, because there's been rumours that he's out of favour off the pitch in terms of his behaviour, his conduct, and if he's not performing on the pitch, then Nuno will be very quick to loan him out or get rid of him in the next couple of weeks before the transfer window closes. Personally, I thought Dave Edwards had quite a good game. Now, I've seen other people talking about him and saying, oh, he didn't play well or whatever. He's not a, he's not a brilliant footballer. He's not, he hasn't got a great touch and he's not a great passer of the ball. But what he does do is make runs behind the defence, which is what we needed yesterday. The problem was the rest of the team were not on the same wavelength and he was making those runs through the back four in vain. Now, there were some rumours, I don't know how true they are, but they, he was quite upset and kicking a bottle and stuff when he came off. And I can understand it. There was three or four times in the first half, at least, that he made those runs. He made a couple in the second half as well. And it must be, must be frustrating for him. Overall, I think yesterday should be treated really as another pre-season friendly. It gave a lot of players some chance to play 90 minutes who hadn't played 90 minutes before. It gave everybody a chance to get used to this formation still. Although we've had six pre-season games and now two competitive games, it's still brand new to lots of the players and they're taking their time to get used to it. So, all in all, we're in the hat for the next round. Hopefully we get a tougher tie. I think we've probably played better against the bigger sides this season in the way that we're setting up, particularly at home. I'll be interested to see now on Saturday how we set up away from home, whether we 
because I don't imagine we'll have as much possession as we usually do. But that'll be interesting to see on Saturday. Talking about Saturday, Derby County's game against Grimsby last night was postponed or abandoned after about 20 minutes. So be, I don't know whether that game has been played tonight or whether it's been delayed for a week. Either way, I don't know whether that will affect Wolves much because I don't know if it was their first side out. Or if you went to the game last night, then let me know what you thought in the comments section down below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more updates. There'll be a preview for the Derby game on Friday and then a review on Saturday evening. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.